All righty. I am Tom Shalou in for Greg Gutfeld. It is Friday. You know what that means. Let's welcome tonight's guests. His jokes make great compost. Founder of theloftusparty.com, Michael Loftus. She's my favorite Austin since Steve, host of the Hoop Chat, Emily Austin. He's as delicious as the egg dish he's named for comedian and host of That Rock Show on YouTube, Jim Florida. She's a real catch, according to Interpol. Fox News contributor, Cat Tim. Okay, before we get to some new stories, let's do this. Greg's Leftovers. Mmm. Yes, it's leftovers. I read the jokes we didn't use this week. And just like Greg, this is my first time reading these. Here we go. This week, rapper Eminem sent a cease and desist letter to keep Vivek Ramaswamy from using his song, Lose Yourself. Lawyers also filed an injunction to prevent Chris Christie from calling himself Slim Shady. <laughs> All, right. All right. Hey, why not? While on tour in Montgomery, Alabama, Kat Timpf was approached by a lesbian who gave her her phone number. <laughs> Kat declined and instead invited her to the show tonight. <laughs> I think that, that was a Greg joke. That was Greg's, I think. And I'm but... so happy right now. <laughs> <laughs> Last weekend, climate change fanatics blocked Burning Man fans from getting to the festival grounds. It was the largest gathering of annoying white people this side of the Vermont primaries. <laughs> All right, Bernie. A Turkish airline is offering customers the option to sit in a kid-free section for an additional fee. The good news for kids is the new children's section will allow smoking. <laughs> <laughs> Kid, you've got a good view there. <laughs> and specialty seating is catching on across the industry. For an extra 50 bucks, American Airlines will let you choose if you want to sit next to that <laughs> who's not real. <clears throat> wow, I committed to that one. <laughs> Pediatricians and parents are calling for a ban on energy drinks that, that can have six times as much caffeine as Coca-Cola. I think that's good. I can't imagine anyone who'd need that much caffeine. <laughs> the annual World Gravy Wrestling Championship was held on Monday in England. While the event is popular with wrestling fans, it's far more popular with fans of gravy. <laughs> Joe Biden invited the WNBA champion Las Vegas Aces to the White House, but then he didn't show up. Luckily, WNBA players are used to people not showing up. <laughs> a man in Nebraska was pulled over in a modified car that had a full-size bull restrained in the passenger side. But some are speculating Omaha steaks ran out of dry ice. Wow. Wow. Don't go after... <laughs> don't go after the animals on this show. This week, ABC revealed the 22 women who will be competing on the first-ever senior citizen Golden Bachelor. And during their interviews, many contestants say they've fallen in love and can't get up. <laughs> yeah, that's a good... Good for this crowd. A new poll finds 77% of Americans think Joe Biden is too old for a second term, but Democrats say the president is as energetic and quick on his feet as FDR. <laughs> <laughs> and when asked about that poll, the most Americans agree that Biden doesn't have a second term in him. The president replied, that makes all of us. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now to the news. Suddenly, the Pentagon wants us to know whenever there's a UFO. This week, the government launched a website for its All-Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, or Arrow, where you can check out declassified videos, pictures, and reports of UFOs without the usual OnlyFans fees. 
The Pentagon describes it as a one-stop shop for all publicly available information related to UAP, UAP or Unidentified Aerial Phenomena. The site compiles a bunch of videos of mysterious flying objects before they're killed by <laughs> offshore windmills. <laughs> the site will also allow service members to submit when, what they think might be alien sightings. As for everyday Americans, a Pentagon spokesman says it's something they'll look into in the future. There's also a global hotspot map showing where the most UFO reports have originated. The Persian Gulf, Far East Asia, and the U.S. coasts, including Washington, D.C., which does make sense. I mean, this guy works there. <laughs> yeah. The UAP right there. Okay, so uh, what do you guys think of this? I mean, I'll go to you, Kat. This, this UFO thing, do you think that the government is trying to distract us from other, other things? Oh, there you go. Let's, That's what you were going to say, right? Well, well, what I... Okay, I, I had a lot to say, but I will keep it brief as I... It's not just you and I here, Tom. I don't want to be rude. <laughs> um, so I think the narrative around it has been very interesting because I've seen so many memes and so many people say that, well, the government's talking about how there could be aliens and, like, nobody even cares that there's aliens. It's like... That's not what's going on. What's going on is that nobody cares in the... Well, what, what's, it looks like that because people just don't care that the government is saying it. Because everything... I mean, it's just true that everything the government tells us is based on whatever its own agenda is. Yeah. So if the government's like, we're going to tell you this stuff about aliens, it's like, okay. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Because you are, it's not like they're going to give us anything that juicy because they're the government. Right. So there's something else going on. What is your theory, Jim, as to why the government would be wanting us to look at UFOs when they wanted us to not look at it for so many years, right? Well, because that whistleblower came out a couple months ago and revealed all this stuff, and then six senators said, hey, listen, we're coming after you. So then the Pentagon goes, okay, we're going to set up this website. We're going to let you know yeah. everything that's going on. And, you know, the American people, like Kat said, don't even believe anything the government does now. Now we're going to believe the website? Okay, now all the truth's going to be on the website? <laughs> If you're going to declassify stuff, like they said they're going to declassify everything, declassify, like, cool stuff, like, you know, what politician would be an alien? <laughs> I'd go with Kamala Harris, because there's no way a human could speak in circles like that. <laughs> Only an alien yeah. could just speak around like that. But and she's really into the moon, right? She's always talking about the moon. I didn't think about that. That's true. Yeah. And I think if this thing takes off, maybe they could, you know, open, like, a big... Uh, Make an amusement park at Area 51 in Roswell. <laughs> Take pictures with the aliens, go up in a spaceship. Yeah, a museum, right? Yeah, maybe. I think people want to see that. Emily, welcome to the show. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> First timer. First timer. Emily, do you think they know more than they're telling us? And if they do, what's their motive? Well, first of all, for you to now tell me that they're not really life beings, they're just probably these, like, blob of cells that yeah. they're calling extraterrestrial or, like, activity. That's pretty sad because I don't really tell people this, but I actually wanted to be an astronaut when I was older. And one what? of the things... <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> Please. I didn't stick with it, but, um... You know? <laughs> Settle down there. <laughs> Decided not to, of course. I couldn't pursue my dreams because my mom said no. And, um, you know, I'd love to see some aliens, but, you know, sadly, the older you get and you start to learn things, it's not all fun and games. And as much as I'm happy to now see there's something out there, I'm smart enough to know that it's probably a distraction for something bigger going on right here on our turf, and they just want to shift the attention away. So I'd like to be happy about it, but the, the smarter side of me is like, all right, what's Hunter doing? Yeah. <laughs> Michael, don't you wish you had a smarter side of you? <laughs> Every day. <laughs> and I try to hold on to that thought, and then it just, poof, goes away. Uh, I don't know what's going on. I want the aliens to be real. Right? And I think they have good intentions. If they were going to do something bad, they already would have done it, right? And if it's the government trying to distract us, it's a pretty good distraction. I like the videos and all that stuff. Here's what I know. I don't want the probes to stop. Like, uh, I go on these camping trips, and I, I'm paralyzed, and in comes an alien, and they know exactly what I like. <laughs> so, uh... If it's the military or either way, just keep the good stuff coming there, <laughs> E.T. So how, how many times a day... You know how we think of... Ash, sorry, I'm thinking about astronauts. Um, do they think, like, they call their parents and are like, I told you so? 
Because <laughs> every kid probably tells their parents they want to be an astronaut. And you're like, okay, honey, but some people do do it. I checked astronaut in my little, uh, you know, wish book when I was a kid. Yeah. Wait, and here I am thinking I'm like so cool for <laughs> to be an astronaut one day or whatever. I'm not special, I guess. Yeah. No, I I think that was it was a, it was a good it was a good thing, Emily. Uh, <laughs> my parents I was shocked. Agree. I yeah. That I was, kind of... was believably shocked. You really were. You know, I here's my theory. The globalists, right? They want to globalize the world, and so they. But everybody needs an enemy. Mm -hmm. So it's like nationalists. They, they, you know, they think other countries are bad, you know. But when they destroy all the borders and we have a one-world government, they want to keep us, uh, you know, thinking that the aliens are the enemy. What do you think of that, Jim? Um, I don't believe it. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, look, I. I wanted to be an astronaut too. Only, I only checked it off because it began. What? <laughs> Can you believe it? Yeah. Only because it was the first thing on the list and it began with an A. Oh my God. This... <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. Yeah, it's weird that, though, like Michael said, that they don't mess with us. Like they hover around and then they just take off. You'd think that they would mess with us and do something. Yeah. But may, are they afraid of us? I don't know. Well, that's it. They probably don't mess with you because you don't go camping like he did. They always show up at the campsites, right? Right. And sometimes they're late. And I'm like, come on, you guys, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right. <laughs> Did I actually come in the tent, or did he do, or no? Sometimes the tent, sometimes not the tent. Yeah, he's, wait <laughs> he's waiting outside yeah. the tent. He well, lights candles. Yeah, he's got yeah. Like, sausages. <laughs> A little Sade. <laughs> okay, before we go, I'm touring my new one-man show, Spontaneous Combustion. Come see me at Hyenas in Fort Worth on October 14th and the Hobby Center in Houston on October 15th. Tickets are available now. Go to TomShalute.com.